Russian soldiers use drugs to fight fear in Ukraine. Russian soldiers carry out offensives under the influence of drugs in the Borova Front sector. The commander of the 1st Assault Battalion of the 3rd Separate Mechanized Brigade of Ukraine, call sign Fokka Volodymyr Fokin, told Radio NV. There have been repeated confirmations from the prisoners of war themselves that they use drugs that do not cause hallucinations but eliminate fear, making the Russian soldiers not afraid to engage in combat, he said. And I think soon there will be a video of the Russian soldiers continuing to attack even after having their arms blown off, their legs badly damaged, crawling with assault rifles and they continue to attack. Fokin recounted an incident in which a five-man assault group of Russian occupiers did not stop or take cover after the two of their comrades were killed by mortar fire. Three soldiers keep moving. They do not stop. They do not lie down. They keep moving. One of the three soldiers was hit by an FPV drone. Killed. It tore him to pieces. Two soldiers kept moving. Then one of them was killed in a firefight and the other was captured but only because he had serious bullet wounds, he simply could not move anymore. According to Fokin, the enemy in the Borova sector is reinforced by 200 to 450 soldiers every week. These soldiers undergo two weeks of training in Russia and another two weeks in the occupied territories of Ukraine before being sent to the front. What does this mean? Actually, it has its effect. Because they don't have the experience of active combat, they don't understand the full impact of Ukrainian artillery and small arms fire. They think it's normal and they continue to advance, he said. The issue of drug use in the Russian military was previously reported by the Ukrainian armed forces to CNN in December 2023. Ukrainian soldiers showed CNN journalists drone footage in which a wounded Russian soldier had his legs severed but displayed a disturbing smile, seemingly impervious to the pain. On January the 15th, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported that the Russian invaders were being given drugs and psychotropic substances to make it easier for them to carry out assaults. A powerful storm hit Russian capital Moscow on Thursday afternoon, killing at least two people and injuring over a dozen others, authorities reported. Russia's emergency services ministry said a man was killed near Park Dubki in northern Moscow when wind gusts of around 18 to 23 meters per second uprooted a tree that then crushed him. As a result of unfavorable weather conditions, 18 people were hospitalized in city hospitals, three of them are in serious condition. Among those hospitalized are four children, their condition is assessed as satisfactory, the press service of Moscow Health Department told local media. The Ministry of Emergency Situations warned of possible tornadoes from 12 to 1700 hours local time on Thursday. It said strong winds and rain was expected to continue until 2200 hours on Thursday. The storm has caused cancellation of around 50 flights across the capital city. The plane flying from Magadan to Moscow failed to land at the capital's Sheremetyevo airport and landed in Nizhny Novgorod. According to meteorologists, the deadly storm was brought in by a strong cold front. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin warned on Wednesday that a powerful storm system was expected to bring heavy rain and high winds, as well as rare tornadoes to Moscow the following day. Видно, вот, смотрите, хорошо прям видно. 
если бы